Welcome to Indie Depth, the show where we go in depth with independent filmmakers. I'm your host, Andrew Froning, and today on my show, we have three time feature film director, eight time feature film producer, Jeff Stewart. Hey, how's everyone doing? How you doing, Andrew? Doing okay, brother. How you doing? <laughs> I'm yo know, hanging in there. You know, every every day's a miracle. <laughs> At this point, yeah, that that's hitting home more than ever. So, what are you doing with the miracle of today? Uh, I woke up. I put pants on. Miracle. Um, happy about that. <laughs> uh, I'm very proud of myself for that. Uh, what what have I been doing today? Uh, let's see. Uh, I'm actually I spent the morning editing a couple of projects, like a little shorts that I've been sitting on for a while. Uh, sent off some emails, you know. Uh, had two or three cups of coffee. Uh, I, I tried to make this like I did a little makeshift uh, lighting setup, but now you see uh, you, you see my china ball right there. I oh, didn't realize that's great. That, <laughs> I didn't realize it was that wide. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's 11 a.m. and you're you're already hustling, man. I feel like uh, you above most of the people that I know personally, your hustle game is strong. Well, thank you. So, thank you. how how where where does it start with filmmaking for you? Why is this such an important part of your life? Ah, uh, because I just love it so much. You know, I love. I love telling stories. I love pretty pictures. Um, you know, it's, and I know it's so it sounds hokey and it sounds stupid and it sounds cliche, but like, I can't give birth like physically. <laughs> like I don't have the, the equipment to give life to some, to another individual. Uh, but, Filmmaking is the closest thing I can get to that. I can take nothing, you know. I can take some an idea in my head and bring it into existence, so, you know. And it's it's magic. So like, like like Prometheus, you bring that fire right, to the people. You know, it's 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 spiritual alchemy. Yeah, yeah. I, I I'm not a big like spiritual or. Um, anything like that person right. but m making movies there's definitely a magic to it movie magic yeah. isn't just like a disney term it's there's something very magical about bringing people together and the collaboration and what you create out of nothing yeah i mean it's, it's billions of bi billion, billions and billions of dollars every year are are made and spent on this art form you know um because it, it is magic. It, it, it is. Uh, it is. I love. I, I love this analogy uh, or this example. Um, you go into a movie theater, right? Packed, three hundred people. Uh, for the most part, you don't know, right? Uh, and you're all laughing at the same thing for the most part you're all being amazed and uh by the same thing you're all feeling the same emotions and going through the same highs and lows it's unifying it's beautiful you know uh and that's magic to me i mean that's you know that's that's what it's about so yeah. that's why my hustle is so strong is just because i totally 100 percent believe in the magic uh, of of filmmaking and what it can do. You know, I just thought that what you were what, the way you were describing it. Um, sitting in a theater, the audience is all feeling the exact same thing at the exact same time. Like, how hard is that to do in real life? Like, if you've ever if you've ever been a manager of people, like to get someone on the same page, or right. um, just you know, a country entire. You know, like, can we ever get on the same page? That's so hard to do. But movies just, you know, you sit in a dark theater and you experience yeah, yeah. the same thing together. And that's beautiful. We, we all have all our, you know, different political and religious affiliations, but we can all agree that that bitch Carol Baskin <laughs> uh, hurt her husband. You know, that's, that's filmmaking right there. You know? <laughs> 
Hey, all you cool cats and kittens, we're talking with Jeff Stewart today. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> um, so recently, I saw you did an unboxing video of just something you rented, right? Like it was just it was just a rental thing, and then that turned into a little more. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so uh, Zacuto, I, you know, for people who don't aren't in the in in the the know. Zacuto has been around for like 30 plus years and they make really high end uh, camera accessories. Uh, you know, cages, grips, monitors, and stuff like that. And so I got an email about three weeks ago and it says, hey, we have this new product, our Act Recoil rig uh, for, you know, DSLR, mirrorless, mm -hmm. small camera body systems. And it's, you know, We'll give it to you. We'll let you rent it for two for two weeks for a dollar, plus shipping and handling. Okay. And I said, "Why not?" You know, like I'm sitting around in quarantine, not doing anything. Like, let me let me give this a try. You know, for a dollar plus shipping and handling, why not? So I decided once I got it, I was like, "Yeah, let me do a little unboxing video." Blah 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 blah. Uh, I posted it. They liked it. They loved it and stuff like that. And so. Uh, I just started a dialogue with them, uh, you know, and like showed them the, you know, my Instagram following and stuff like that and the stuff that I've done before, my CV. And they were like, do you, would you mind doing like a product a video or two for us? And we'll let you just keep this, this, uh, this, you know, high end, uh, next generation, future proof, uh, uh, it, video equipment. I was like, all right, cool. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, I mean that's 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 part of the hustle, you know. Uh, that's um, and because I've been doing this for so long and I've got such a following, like uh, people who are watching this may not know me, but other people know me. Uh, you know that allows me some sort of latitude when it comes to to doing these kind of things. But honestly. You know, no guts, no glory. Uh, yeah. What's the worst thing? The worst thing anyone could say to you is no. It's only two letters. Come on. Yeah. Like so. Uh, I mean, they could do a whole lot more. I mean, they could call you, call you out your name and put just your 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 business in the street. But for the most part, uh, it's just a no. So why not ask? You know, you would be surprised. You know, right. you walk in with a. Uh, it's a. You walk into any kind of meeting or, or a conversation uh, with a little bit of humble, uh, a little bit of swagger, uh, and a, a little bit of confidence, and you know you'd be surprised what you get. Perfect advice. Yeah, if every day is a miracle, make a miracle with that miracle. Yeah, there you go. There you go. So, uh, so Zakudo is now one of the one of the many uh, companies that. Uh, I'm, I'm, I've worked with or am working with you know uh, I've worked with uh, all of the B&H in-house brands uh, I'm a you know, tester for the, for them and I'm a reviewer for those Quasar Science uh, you know now Zacuto uh, I'm trying to get that Canon Connect mm, uh, that's it. that'd be I've, a good one <laughs> yeah I've, I've, I've been a Canon shooter since I would say for the last 20 years. I love Canon technology. I love the color science. I love their lenses and stuff like that. So to be a Canon ambassador would be, uh, is, is my dream. Hmm. Uh, but yeah, I just, you know, do good work and people will, you know, recognize it. And, but also ask. Just ask. You know, that's part of the hustle. Just asking. You know, like you may get a hunt. You may get a hundred no's. You may get a ninety-nine no's, but there's got to be one yes in there. Yep, and that yes inevitably leads to something else. If yeah. if you're diligent, you do it right. Oh yeah, yeah. And that's up to you. Yeah, pretty much, pretty much. Uh, but yeah, that's that's part of my hustle. Like, and all uh, I, we were talking about this in the pre-interview. Uh, uh, that part of the hustle is also the rela relationship building. Yeah. Um, uh, you know, not only do I do creative 
filmmaking and stuff like that. You know, like my IMDb is is strong, uh, but I do corporate stuff. Hmm. You know, uh, and because of relationships that I've I've built, you know, just having conversations with people, you know, being at the right place at the right time, putting myself out there. <clears throat> you know, I've worked, I've done some work for some really like, pretty good, pretty big companies, like uh, you know. Uh, Coca Cola, AT and T, um, Chase, uh, Amazon, yeah. So I've done like I've done work for them, based on the, the like based on the hustle, based on these relationships that I've built over over time, you know. And uh, your your brand is important, your personal brand, uh, being dependable knowing what you're doing and stuff like that. Uh, you know, you can be good at your job and people can hate you. Uh, <laughs> uh, and you're, uh, you're not going to get as ne- nearly as many opportunities mm-hmm. as if you're good at your job and people like you. Yeah, very true. They'll put you in a corner well, versus for, put you in the spotlight. Right. Yeah, for, for me, that's how that's worked. Yeah. You know, I'm a, a pretty likable guy. 